Alzheimer's is not an easy disease. It comes, it goes through various stages. I just want to give you a brief about what is happening in the Alzheimer's world. The first stage is about forgetfulness. It is about repetition. It is about <coughs> asking the same questions again and again. It is about getting into the space of insecurity. That's exactly what the Alzheimer's first stage patients go through. What is our reaction? Because we are not too sure whether it is Alzheimer's because it always takes a, you know, that extra time to realize that you know, the, my, my, the parents are going through this particular uh, into going through this disease. So first of all, we live in denial. We try to understand that as somebody who is seeking more attention, somebody who is trying to, um, you know, act uh, difficult because uh, he is no more useful as he was. So the first reaction from us is living in denial and then trying to do the course correction on your parents as much as possible. When the Alzheimer's goes to the second stage where you find uh, that you know there's some serious problem and that needs to be sorted and that's the time we come to conclusion that you okay, there it is a disease so we need to handle this it requires treatment. Now the second stage is where your father starts or your parent starts losing their way they don't know whether they had their meals even if they had their meals they don't know whether to um, they, they would come back to you and say that you haven't had you know you haven't given my meal for this afternoon so the irritation starts even more now at least by this stage we should have understood that there is a problem and that needs to be handled the second stage <coughs> is about how you, you know, whether he's taking, is he clean? Is he going, is he having his bath properly? Because, you know, you lose the balance and dexterity of even washing your own body. So because we don't see that. Now that frustrates the person who is going through. So when we, some of the things that we don't see, but we can see from a distance. Now the third stage comes into picture which is probably six months to somebody and it could be for a year and a half for somebody else it could be so the time varies uh, amongst people the third stage is they lose the sense of sanity you know that's the diaper stage but they still live in denial mind is strong they will not accept it they still believe that they are fine one part of the mind keeps fighting you know, I could see my father walking without anything all of a sudden and the moment you go and tell him that, look, there is no clothes on your body, he would get very upset. And again, he would still in live in denial and he would say that, look, you are telling lies. I am I'm very well clothed. You are just, uh, you know, letting me down. Now that was the third stage, I would say. And the fourth stage is basically, they lose the sense of balance of the body. Absolute incoherence in the way they speak. And that's the time, you know, they become little secluded. They probably be isolated. They isolate themselves and they don't want to be seen. They don't want to meet anybody. They don't want to talk to anybody. 